new locale. I've gained a new memory. Oh. <sighs> Finally, you took your sweet time. You're the... Hey, Charlotte. Hey! You just don't give up, do you? Come on, out the way. More like stubborn leech than turtle. <laughs> this time I'm here for something a little bit different. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I want to see just how good you are, chum. I've been waiting here for three whole days already. Three days? Seriously? You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on idiots. Well then. Fight me and we'll see who's the idiot. How did you know that we'd be here? I'll tell you if you can beat me. You want to join the fun too? No. You all go ahead. Huh? Why? What a shame. Looks like the illustrious Flamebringer won't be helping you this time. Thanks for the concern and all, but maybe you should be worrying about yourself. Big tree to your right, big rock to your left, and a cliff right behind you. Which one's gonna get you this time, eh? Not today, furry ears. Check this. Come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. Yeah, yeah, so fast! Ah, ha! 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 Ha!
Chum. Right back at you. Impressive. Didn't think I'd ever see another driver and blade on Moragon Bridge's level. You're still holding back. Where's the Aegis's true power? Mithra's power is only for fighting bad guys. Oh, that's so sweet. So I'm a good guy now, is that it? Am I wrong? <laughs> I like your attitude there, chum. Well, that's an Aegis's driver for you. How did we do, your highness? Sure, you pass. I think we can just about let you into the Praetorium. What the hell? I've been working for Indel for a while now. A kind of special envoy. They asked me to keep an eye out for the Aegis. Actually, I volunteered to. You know how it is. I'm jolly sorry for testing you like that. We were planning on getting this over with in one encounter, but His Highness has the most awful luck, so... Yeah, I think I got that. What are you talking about? Everyone has bad days, right? <laughs> There he goes. Hmm. Bad luck indeed. Uh, should we go rescue him? Nah. He'll find his own way back up somehow. Let's just board the ship.
pretty. Amazing. Whoa. It's so grand. Sure, because they're trying too hard. You don't have to be like that. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, nothing. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow. Before that, maybe you'd all like to have a look around? See the sights of Indol? Sounds like a pretty rare opportunity. Yeah! Let's look around city! Tora want to see everything! What are we, tourists? There's no harm in that, is there? This would be a first for me, too. Right. You were a bit big to go running around Indol before now. Oh, that's a funny image. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Woo! Where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though, sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banner grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control and direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Those salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium. Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah, I'm just stumbling my way forward.
Morag. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> Five hundred years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. this morning Miss Fan Oh 
Has somebody got a little crush? Mia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is, you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, oh, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of Allrest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra, I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But... If you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that... You really do see right through me. Well... We go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all.
Praetor. Praetor Amalthus. The boy has arrived, your eminence. Thank you. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Uh, no way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. We heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. No need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you've put it that way. Your eminence. You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this. From Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah. Cole. That brings back memories. We're looking for a way to Elysium. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium. To, to save all rest, any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago. Too long ago, I used to think like you. Indeed, it led me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find Elysium. Or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex. I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to... Reminisce a little. So old man Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the Praetor, Dinwit. What's he gonna do, eat her? Back there, I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry, I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. 
That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Why do this now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. I'm so sorry to do this to you. I see. Very well. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. 
Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. Do you think it's something to do with the excavation? Temperantia? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case, he must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man! Sincere apologies, everyone, but I come with an urgent request. Please go to the audience chamber at once! <laughs> 